Good morning, y'all. My name is Shanna. Welcome to my channel. I'm not a blue ribbon quilter. My focus is on keeping people warm. I want to make a quilt that is warm and sturdy as quickly as possible. The Pepsi quilt has begun. Um, I would have you know, my devoted followers, this is a paid gig for which I am intensely grateful because it will help me in my mission to make quilts for the homeless. So, it took me a long time to dismantle seven pairs of pants and five shirts. And I have, I have parts laying everywhere. I have little, little bitties there and the, the patches are in there. I have uh, bigger pieces here and bigger pieces here. And the big box is full of the pants. And so I'm trying to stay with one pair of pants as I go. So that's the pair of pants that um, is in here. So the patch is pinned. And I'm going to do this quilt as you go. So it's going to be stitch and flip. And then these two balls were in that bunch of um, fabric balls that I got at the yard sale. And it looks pink on the, on the phone. But you can see down here that it's really red. So I thought that was an adorable addition. And then... To build out, I've got this dark navy, and then I'll come back and finish off with more pants fabric. My backing and my batting are 17 by 17, hopefully with a finished block, 16 by 16. This will be a rag quilt. Here is my splits. It's a beautiful um, floral that I thought would blend well. Um, this precious lady has given me carte blanche, and so I'm trying to use what I have. Now, here's my layout. We've got a split, three full blocks in a split then a row of four full blocks another split block row a full block row and a split block row so I have I have six of these and then there's going to be 17 full blocks and you can see I've got them laid out with a Pepsi in the center, two Pepsis here, and two Pepsis here. There are five patches of each kind. So there's Pepsi, Dr. Pepper. Okay, I hope y'all can see this. Um, and then there's 7-Up, more Dr. Peppers. Um... more seven up and then his name there are, that's his name is in the script embroidered in a script and it has a pocket so it's gonna be long and narrow so it's gonna be interesting because there's gonna be uh, the interior is gonna be different you know, shapes and configurations, but I'm going to try to stay with this color scheme nearest I can. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> this video has a lot of talking. I'll do the sewing on the next video. So, um, with all of that, I'm going to try to work in the smaller pieces and there's going to be, um, 
you know, I've got big pieces of sleeves and the backs. Um, so, you know, there could be enough here for another quilt. She did make the comment that she would like to have a queen size, and I have, I have worked this out um, without binding and not counting seam allowances, 71 by 85 with a finished of 64 by 80. But if I see that I'm able and that I have enough fabric, I'll make two borders on the sides to give it um, a drop I have no idea how much it just all depends on on what's left so um, just wanted to give you an idea and the biggest thing that I want to say making this quilt and videoing it for you is that you can make a quilt out of anything you can make a quilt out of any kind of fabric this pants fabric is thick it's cranky it's almost impossible to press because it's uh, some of them are 100% polyester some of them are 60% um, poly and 40% cotton so um, I'm bobbing and weaving and doing the best I can with what I have and it's, it's her grandpa, and she adored him, and it's going to be a beautiful quilt for her. The thing I love about his name having a pocket under it is very much like a memory pillow. Oh, and I have an extra. I was not able to put the five names in here, so I have an extra one. I'm going to make her a memory quilt with his name in a pocket. But even on the quilt, she can put little mementos and things that I'm sure she has into the pockets of the quilt and the pillow that I'm going to make. So, um, pray for me. <laughs> I think it's going to be labor intensive. It already has been, and I don't mind that at all. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share the love and share my skills so um y'all stay with me and there's more coming so i love y'all to pieces y'all have a blessed day and we'll talk to you later